I've told you. One of you must always go with me. That is why I have brought you here. Not just to eat my food and drink my wine. My work might be out on the land, but my honor, my honor is here at home. And do not forget, my honor is also your honor. Never mind. Just try and do what I ask of you from now on. Don't let her go out alone. You were at the well? I was. I, I just went to go get some fresh water for dinner. How was your day at the fields? I was in the orchard. Are you staying in for the night? I have to see to the cattle, Yerba. It is my duty. at peace with yourself at that land. You can't be at peace when you constantly worry. You worry? You know well I do, and you know well why. Oh, please, can we just talk about something else? My cattle, they stay in their fields. But you will not stay in your home. How many times do I have to tell you? You go out far too much. How can you expect me to stay in a house that's as dead as a tomb? <laughs> a house should have signs of life. It should be lived in. The chest should be broken with use. The sheets should be worn out. But that doesn't happen here, does it, Juan? You know I have reason to ask this of you. You know I have reason to be concerned. Concerned? Concerned about what? I live every single day in this house alone for you. And whatever feelings I keep, I keep locked up inside. You don't make any sense when you speak, Yerma. I mean, I even buy you these expensive treats that you like from the town. What other wife can say that? So I am not good to you, huh? <laughs> I know I might not be perfect, but all I want is for us to be, live a peaceful life. To be able to go and sleep on my land. I know that you are asleep in our bed. But I don't sleep. I cannot sleep. Why? What is wrong, Yarma? Is there something you need? Yes. Yes, what? Yes, there is something I need. Still, you are obsessing over this still. It's all I can think of. Then why don't you bring one of your brother's children here? I wouldn't mind. No! I couldn't look after someone else's child then perhaps you have to accept things the way they are. For as long as I can breathe, I will not accept anything. You can buy my jaw shut with your pretty scabs. Maybe then I'll be free to accept. Maybe when I'm dead, you can stuff my arms and my legs into a coffin. I'll be free to accept things then, but not until then. But what can we do, Yarma? Yarma, what is it that you want? Punishing me for something I can do nothing about. I'm sorry, I don't even know who I am anymore. Just let me go out. Just let me go out. Let me go out for a breath of fresh air. Let me go clear my mind. When have I given you reason not to trust me? I don't like people looking at me. Hmm? I don't like people pointing at me, Yama. All I want is for you to stay indoors and keep that door locked. It's not a sin talking to someone. But it can look that way, huh? Can't you see I am not able for this? I haven't the strength. All I want is to live a peaceful life. When people speak to you, walk on. And remember, you are a married woman. Married? And remember that honor is of great importance to me, even if not to you. Why are you looking? 
looking at me that way. It is you who have done wrong, Yarma, not me. I could just lock you up here. That is my right as your husband. I could just lock you up in just this house. Let it, just let it be, Juan. Just let it be. It's fine. 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 We will eat. Did you hear me? I'm not hungry. You can go eat with your sisters. As you wish. Oh, please, child, please. Lift the veil between my pain and my happiness. All I ask for as a child and all I get are pale flowers, the color of the moonlight. My breasts are hard birds waiting to nourish you. Blinded they are by the lack of you. They are doves not white, but blind. My blood is aching to be let of you. It stings my belly skin like wasps. You must arrive, my child, you must arrive. Like water flows into water, my womb was meant to hold you. Like the cloud was meant for rain. Yerma? Maria, what are you doing outside in the rain? I just don't like to bring the baby in. It always seems to upset you. It does, doesn't it? Two babies in three years, Maria. You really have been blessed. What's the matter? It makes me sad to think of you sitting here, envying me. It's not envy that I'm suffering from, it's a kind of poverty. The kind that sees you rich and me without. You have other things to keep you happy. I know, but it, I can't control it. It, it, it. it takes over everything. You take him. He's much happier in your arms. Yerma. Maybe my arms are just not meant to hold babies. Yerma. I'm so fed up of having a woman's body and not being able to use it. I see everything around me is giving life. I see the fountains are gushing with water. I see the sheep with their hundreds of lambs, the dogs with their dozens of puppies. Everything is giving its offspring out on my display of. Hush now. You don't understand. How could you? You go over this again and again. It's not good for you. I know. I think eventually I'll just be my own child. I'll be my own son. Maria, some nights I go out to give the cows their fodder, and that's something we women just don't do around here. And every time I walk past the lean-to, I hear my footsteps ringing in my ears like a man's. Why don't you tell Juan how you feel? He knows. But it's three against one here, Maria. And I'd rather drop dead than to speak another word to his sisters. What can they be thinking to keep you this way? They think I love another man, even though they know that my honor and my duty will prevent me from being. table. He puts a roof over my head. Is that the same as love? You have been given a great cross to carry, Irma. Take strength in the Lord's suffering. 